Hi, I'm Severi from Honor Plugins and today we are here because I want to show you how to uh, route the different sequencer of our regenerator into different channels and different synthesizer in Reaper. Uh, what we're going to do is to create uh, an easy sequence made up of four different, uh, four different uh, sequencers and to route each one to a different MIDI channel and a different uh, synthesizer that is uh, uh, sitting on uh, uh, separate channels in the Reaper mixer. So, uh, let's get into the session and I show you how to get this routing. So now, this is our Reaper session and it's pretty easy. We have uh, one channel for a regenerator and uh, one channel each for an instance of a synth. It's the synthesizer included, included in Reaper. It's pretty basic, but what we want to do is just show the routing so it will do. Now, this is uh, our sequence. It's just a, a pretty rhythmic uh, sequence that is going to play diff, uh, a minor, in a minor chord here with the bass on the first, uh, um, on, on the first sequence. We have uh, an E on the first octave, then uh, a second, then we have uh, a G on the second octave and a B on the second octave um, with different uh, rhythmic patterns that will produce a nice uh, moving rhythm. Uh, so uh, we want to, uh, we have uh, already prepared different uh, rear scenes with uh, pretty basic settings. Uh, this is not the interesting part, it's just uh, some soul wave and uh, square wave playing. And uh, we want to route the first lane here to the first channel in Reaper. To do that, we are going to use the send capabilities of uh, Reaper. This is uh, the most important part in this project because uh, uh, what goes out from this channel is just MIDI data. So we are not uh, going to hear anything uh, on the output of Reaper. We are just seeing MIDI activity. The track is playing, but we hear nothing because this MIDI data is not being routed to any synth. So now we'll first create a new send to track number two. And we say that we are not sending any audio, but we are sending MIDI data. We are not sending all channels because we want the first channel go to first channel on this track here. Because we say the first channel, because we have set channel number one on the right generator editor, and uh, this track, this pattern, is going to be played on MIDI channel number one. So we want to route this MIDI channel number one to this track here. So if I press play now, I can hear the first pattern playing. Now I want to do the same for all the other uh, tracks here. So I create another send to track number three and no audio and channel number two to channel number two. Then channel create another send Track number four, then no audio, channel number three to number three on the receiver, then create another send to track number five, no audio, and channel number four to tr channel number four. Mm, the reason why I specified the channel number here is uh, that because if I left that to all, that is the default setting, every pattern would have gone to the um, synth on this track because every channel would have been uh, received by that track. We just want to send the channel that is the same number as the pattern we want to send. 
So this is channel number four, and for this reason, we set the MIDI channel, channel number four here. So now if I press play, and now of course I can change all the parameters I want in the sequence and if I change for example the number of bits of the track number four here, only the last real synth will uh, receive the changes because we are sending on channel number four. So this is a, a pretty simple video it's showing you how to route uh, the MIDI data from Regenerator to different synthesizer in Reaper. Uh, we made this video because this is a, a question we get asked quite often how to route the MIDI data from Regenerator to uh, different uh, synths and uh, in Reaper it's pretty easy. We are going to do other videos showing the routing with other DAW. So if you don't use Reaper but use uh, Logic or Ableton Live or any other DAW, we are going to make a video for those DAW too. So uh, thank you very much for watching this video and if you have question or video you want us to make, just uh, drop us a line uh, in the comments or uh, on our website and we will, we will be very happy to help uh, answer your question and give you the help you need. Thank you very much for watching.